Our world is ever-changing, leaving many mysteries of history lost to time as we attempt to uncover the secrets that we realistically think can be uncovered. Fortunately enough for us, it appears that every now and then, a timestamp of history is perfectly preserved for us in the modern day, waiting to be discovered. These timestamps are stored away in the frozen tundras of our world that helps us to better understand ancient life than we ever could have theorized. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be going over five incredible discoveries that have been found trapped in ice. An Ancient Viking Sword In early September of 2017, two Norwegian hunters were making their usual journey on a hunting trip, tracking a cluster of migrating reindeer when they made an unusual discovery in the permafrost of the tundra that quickly led to overwhelming media attention. One of the hunters remarked that he had spotted an old rusted sword and so quickly snapped a photo of him holding the weapon to post onto his social media profile. Interestingly enough, the hunter was not entirely aware of what he had found and believed the sword to have been a fairly recent reproduction as the quality of the metal and preservation of the sword only made it appear to be a few years old. It was not until a team of researchers were alerted to the find that the artifact could be identified as an authentic ancient Viking sword that had, at one time, been wielded by an ancient Viking warrior. Less than a few days later, a special team of researchers that included two members from the Secrets of the Ice team, a local metal detector enthusiast, a local archaeologist, and the original two reindeer hunters to assist with relocating the location of discovery went back out to the region that was pinpointed using the state-of-the-art GPS devices and started searching the site for additional artifacts and to uncover additional pieces of information related to the context of the original discovery. Unfortunately, the team was unable to locate any other artifacts in the region, despite using a state-of-the-art metal detector for the region. This led the researchers to conclude that the site was not a burial site and that the placement of the sword was done purposefully and with a reason that may have been religious or personally significant to the person placing the sword. Though it does not seem likely that a warrior would have left behind his best sword, it appears to be the only explanation the researchers could provide. Today, there are still no explanations as to the reason for why the sword was left there in a perfect, preserved state, but it has helped researchers uncover the methods of metalwork for the Viking warriors, allowing us to uncover centuries-old secrets in the modern day. 900-year-old copper arrowhead Back in 2006, an incredible discovery was made on an undisclosed remote mountain in the Yukon Territory of the country of Canada completely by accident that has helped researchers better understand the level of sophistication of the native tribes throughout the region more than 1,000 years in the past. According to a team of researchers that had been flying in the region while accompanied with a film crew for the purpose of shooting a documentary surrounding that of lost artifacts, they had stopped down near a patch of glacial ice after spotting a moving herd of caribou that had caught their eye. After descending upon the region, the team of archaeologists took the time to look around the area in the hopes of finding anything that would be compelling enough for television, only to make one of the most startling discoveries of their careers. Perfectly preserved within the ice was that of a barbed arrow that had been carved from the antlers of caribou and was fitted on the end with sharpened copper. It appeared to the researchers that a hunter had attempted to shoot at a migratory herd of caribou but had missed and the arrow lodged deep within the ice, remaining there for more than 900 years. Not only did this find help researchers to better understand and map out Canadian history, being the oldest known reference for the use of bow and arrow technology in the entire country's landscape, but it also holds the earliest known reference for the use of copper within the Yukon Territory, showing incredibly high levels of sophistication with metalworking. Additionally, researchers were able to uncover another 250 objects from the region after realizing that the site had most likely been used as ancient hunting grounds for caribou, locating bows, arrows, and a number of different types of throwing darts. The Woolly Mammoth One of the biggest finds ever known in the scientific field was that of the Dolly Sheep experiments that helped researchers to unlock stable cloning techniques that could lead to repeat experimentation and the use of developed testing subjects. 
Unfortunately, only a few years after the find, the outcry surrounding the cloning technology led to a number of activist groups to call for government intervention and to outright ban the technology and testing altogether for the sake of a moral boundary. With a recent archaeological find, however, it appears that such debates surrounding cloning technologies might be rearing their head once again after one of the most incredible discoveries that had ever been made in the archaeological field had been made back in May of 2013. Located in the tundra environment of northern Siberia, Russian scientists found the body of a perfectly frozen and preserved woolly mammoth that was so well preserved that they were able to retrieve muscle samples and blood samples from the creature. Not only were they able to run tests to accurately estimate the age of the creature, only 50 years old when it had passed away, but the Russian scientists believe that with the quality of DNA they recovered from the creature, they are more than able to use the DNA in modern-day cloning procedure to recreate the woolly mammoth and bring it back from extinction. The plan for the Russian scientists has been able to use a modern-day elephant as the close evolutionary cousin of the woolly mammoth and use its eggs to be implanted with mammoth DNA to allow a mammoth baby to grow inside the womb of an elephant for a 22-month term and bring back the mammoth population. Not only would this allow researchers to better understand the now extinct species of megafauna, but it would also allow evolutionary scientists a living specimen to study in the modern day to help uncover secrets as to behaviors, diets, and evolutionary developments. The project has seen some pushback by activists. However, plans have already been made and a team of researchers estimate that they will have a living woolly mammoth clone in less than two years. releasing an ancient virus. Described similarly to that of something seen out of a science fiction horror film, researchers have uncovered a strain of virus that, though had been trapped for more than 30,000 years, has now awoken in the modern day and is currently undergoing a number of experiments by researchers in an attempt to better understand its anomalous properties. Referred to as the giant virus, Researchers uncovered a strain of virus estimated to be 1.5 micrometers long, more than 150 times larger than any known bacteriophage. The giant virus was discovered in the melting permafrost of northern Siberia while researchers were digging up chunks of ice in an attempt to better understand the effects of climate change in the region. Researchers have estimated that the strain is more than 30,000 years old and so immediately went to work in an attempt to understand as much as they could surrounding the virus. Oddly enough, despite more than 30,000 years of inactivity, the virus was able to latch on and infect an amoeba, allowing it to grow in numbers and resurrect from suspended animation. Though it has already been discovered that this virus is unable to infect human cells, researchers estimate that the melting permafrost could hold millions of more unknown viruses waiting to be released in the near future comparing the site to an icy Pandora's box that has been keeping trapped strains of viruses alive for more than tens of thousands of years. The Woolly Rhino Back in 2015, once again, Russian scientists journeying throughout northern Siberia made a strange discovery when they stumbled across a hairy body of a large animal that seemed to have a body structure unfamiliar to researchers aware of extinct megafauna. Originally, the team thought that perhaps they had stumbled across a baby woolly mammoth given the large clumps of fur all across the body, but then realized that the hair was a light, almost reddish color that did not match previous discoveries of woolly mammoth features. It was not until experts took the time to painstakingly reconstruct the entire body of the creature that they uncovered its true origins. The discovery was that of the extinct woolly rhino, and it helped researchers not only better understand the extinct species, but completely shattered previous theories as to the design of the creature and hair colors. Woolly rhino remains have often been nearly impossible for researchers to find, so not much had been known about them, including the mystery of where they rested on the evolutionary timelines, their lifestyles, how long they lived, and even what they ate. With the discovery of the baby woolly rhino that Russian researchers are calling Sasha, they expected all of these questions to be answered shortly as the research is still ongoing surrounding the creature. The most startling surprise by far has been the creature's hair color, of which, unlike any other known animal, has come out to be a beautiful strawberry blonde.
But what do you all think of these incredible discoveries found trapped in ice all around the world? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thank you.